Hey everyone, hope everyone is doing well. Welcome to another video. Um, in this video, I'm doing the recording separate before I edit the clips, but I'm going to be talking about my weeks of training, and I'll try to be concise with them, so hopefully they line up pretty well. But on the first day of the week, I start out with power snatches, nothing that was too radically difficult, just 175 pounds for a set of three for my top set. Uh, moving on from that, I had power cleans for a top set of 265 for three reps. Uh, more difficult than the what the uh, the power snatches are, but that's just kind of the nature of power cleans. They're more difficult for me to do um, in general. Clean pulls after that to 305, and then front squats to 305 as well, both for a top set of triples. So a pretty light day on Monday, the first day of the week. This is uh, week 7 of the program of 12 that I am doing. Uh, the second day of the week, I had snatches up 205 pounds. I made one of my warm-up sets a bit heavier. Normally, the second set, I go from 155 to 175. I just moved that up to 180 since I wanted to jump to 205 on my top set. And I was trying to be more aggressive with that top triple just to get practice with that little bit of heavier weight. Plus, it's just easier with the plate math to go um, from the 185 when you have a, just a yellow on there to put a, a green on there in addition to that. Um, just kind of semi-laziness, but also I like the idea of doing 205 versus 200. Uh, power jerks on this day, so no cleans. Um, it was power jerks of the 265. They were quite ugly from what I remember. What They weren't any obvious press outs, but they just didn't feel powerful. So my technique on that day wasn't great, but also didn't fail any of them. So I suppose <laughs> that's a positive that. Um, snatch pulls of the 225, and then a back squat triple of... 375. Lots of triples. Threes, threes, threes throughout this whole program. So on Wednesday, I had power snatches again. Um, instead of doing it the top set with 175, I did it with 180. Those are pretty easy. And then power cleans. I had a miss on my second rep that um, I was just kind of early on. It was just a bad technical lift. So I missed that one. So I was two out of three on my top set of power cleans. Snatch pull to the knee, which were mind-blowingly easy. Um, then back squats to 375 for a triple, which is such a common weight for me. Moving on to Thursday, um, I had snatches to 205 pounds again. The warm-up sets were the same with 155, 180, and they're, it's like 155 for four, 180 for three. So with all this stuff that I do, when you see the top sets, just know that lots and lots of volume for the other sets. Um, this day, clean jerks with uh, 265 for a triple, clean pulls, 305 for, you guessed it, 3, and then a back squat for 375 for, you guessed it again, a triple. You guys are getting good at this. <laughs> then on Friday was where I did a heavy back squat, but I had to do work before I got to do the heavy back squat. So I started out with muscle snatches. They went up to 140 pounds for a set of 5, which is unique on the program because lots of triples usually. But uh, the muscle snatches are pretty easy. Uh, what I noticed with muscle snatches is kind of the same thing with overhead presses is that you can work at a higher percentage with them without much of an issue But when you try to get to like a heavy single or a new PR, that's when issues start to arise But if I were to do um, like a over or a muscle snatch or an overhead press with like 90% I could probably do a bunch of reps rel <laughs> that I wouldn't be able to do for say a squat or a, a deadlift or something like that And I think it's just the, the nature of the lift and the shoulders are better at cardio stuff than they are at um strength or maximal strength at least for me and that's kind of a general trend in my whole body not even just my upper but uh, those were easy and they went well power jerks up to 265 i had a miss on my third rep of 265 that was more of me just pushing the weight forward much more than me doing a bad technical lift i was actually very happy with the technique going up until that last one i just pushed it forward and didn't want to go crazy to try to run it forward or anything. It's kind of annoying because it felt really good. I just pushed it forward. And with power jerks, you don't really have that room of room to correct errors as much as you do with split jerks. So I missed that. Two for three on those. Snatch pulls up to 225 and then got to the exciting part with the back squat. So I'll go with the, I'll tell you the whole warm up scheme, although you'll just see the top sets that I did that day or some of the heavier sets. Um, the first set was with 285 pounds and Keep in mind, I do do like the bar and 135 and 225 or 235. You know, I do sets going up to that. I don't just jump to 285 because uh, that would be kind of painful because my body wouldn't be warmed up to do. But um, the program called for the first set to be 285 for three, 325 for three, 375 for two, 395 for two. And the program does a really weird thing whenever it's had 395. It won't. 
it lets you enter in the weight that you did. So if it's like 371, I always put 375 because that's obviously the weight that I do since I don't have pound plates or half pound plates to get to weird numbers like that. Um, but when you have 396 on there, it doesn't change the 395. It just keeps it 396, which it's only a pound difference. So it's not that big of a deal. But it's just kind of weird how it, it stays on there. Um, you can't edit it. Or like when you do edit it, it like reverts back to it, which is odd. But in the scheme of things, if that's one little error, then it's not even one I really worry about. But uh, 395 for two, then 420 pounds for a single and 440 pounds for a single as well. I was really happy with the back squats and how they felt and how they moved and with the upright nature of my torso. So I was, I was generally kind of surprised with how well the um, 440 moved or the 200 kilograms moved. Um, it was definitely a little bit more of a grind than the 420. The 420 went up even better than I than it did the last time I did it. Um, and I think that's just to credit to the programming on that day, just being a little bit lighter and just getting generally a little bit stronger from the, the previous weeks. But i um, happy with how that went. Definitely better than the last week when I had to do a heavy front squat. So hopefully, you know, my back squat's getting better and improving. And it seems like just based on how the lift went that it is. And my uh, current best back squat is still 462 or 210 kilograms. It's like 462 or 463. The kilo It was in kilograms, so the, the pounds are in a weird number. But um, that day went really well. And on the day that I did today on Saturday, day six, I had to go to a very heavy snatch and a very heavy cleaner jerk. And then the rest of the work was pretty light. So I'll go through the, the warm-up sets I did with the snatch because it was quite excessive and then with the clean jerks as well. So the first working set was with 155 for three, 165 for three, and that's where I had like a weird, it was like a semi-mist. I could have like ran it forward or stepped it forward to try to correct it, but because it was light, I just didn't. So really I did the 165 for two, but I just said three on there since I, I tried it and pretty much did it. It was just when I caught it, it was in kind of a weird spot, so I didn't try to do anything with it. But um, 175, uh, and that was actually the only miss I had in that day. So very happy with how snatches went. Um, 175 for two sets of three, 190 for two sets of three, 205 for a set of two, 215 for a set of two, and then 230 for the top single. I was extremely happy with how snatches went with the heavier reps and the fact that I was able to hit 230 and do it with decent technique. I was very happy with. Um, I just... It, it, my body's moving well with what the program has despite doing all these like I mentioned all the warm-up sets with it so my snatch technique is feeling a lot better and um, I have moved my stance in a little bit trying to shove my knees out I didn't do a great job of that on the 230 but um, I'm doing a better job as of now or as of recent I should say and um, my other sets just the the fact that I'm able to do to 215 for two and the 205 for two like just the consistency with the heavier weights like that I'm really excited about and it just it, it's so nice to finally have because for a while you know, once I got above 200 pounds it was just kind of iffy and I would have some days where I do really well and hit a heavy weight or some days where I just miss everything and it was kind of just based on my technique and thankfully that's improving. Uh, moving on the cleaner jerks um, I had lots of working sets until I got to my top set so I had 205 pounds for three, 235 for three, 265 for two sets of two, 285 for a set of two and then a top set of 305 pounds for a single. I didn't have any misses with the cleaner jerks and I was generally happy with the form. There's obviously like little nitpick things with the split jerk that I'm always trying to improve such as having my feet further out from each other as far as the width of them so I'm not crossed over when I'm split out. Um, but I was generally happy with how the cleaner jerks went. I was happy with how explosive the jerk looked and how well I was doing the clean. So um, just I was happy the fact that I was able to do that after all the, the sets going up to that top set as well as all the snatch work and just with all that fatigue being able to hit that shows me that I am in fact getting stronger with this program. Um, had some snatch deadlifts after that up to 225. Those were very easy which is nice to have some light work after that. Then I had front squats up to um, 305 for a triple which were harder than what they would normally be just by proxy of me doing the other work prior to that and being fatigued. I also um, didn't have, I just had my um, knee sleeves on, so I think the knee wraps probably help a little bit. Um, they don't help dramatically, but uh, my legs were just tired at that point. But thankfully, you know, did the set of three and was pretty happy with how, you know, everything looked with that. But um, that was really my week of training. So the highlights were uh, the 200 kilogram, 440 pound squat, as well as the, it was 230, so the 104 kilogram snatch, and the 139 kilogram or 305 pound clean and jerk. 
as well as just my general consistency approving during the week. So I'm happy with all of that. Hopefully my commentary didn't run too far over the, the clips of the week. I have a feeling looking at it, it's over 10 minutes that it probably did. But um, I guess it's the only video I'm posting in, during the week. So you can all deal with that. But hopefully um, you enjoyed the video. Any questions or comments, leave this down below. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Peace.